Hi guys, this is me without makeup. I'm going to show you how I created this look. So let's get to it. I'm going to clip some hair back out of my face so that I can apply this moisturiser which has Max Factor foundation in. I'm going to stop calling it BB cream because it's not actually a BB cream according to its packaging. It's just um, a moisturiser with um, foundation. I just put bits everywhere so that I make sure I finish the whole thing. This is my eye primer. I've never put this much in my entire life of owning it. Um, I just kind of thought, okay, I'm going to definitely put eyeshadow or something over my entire eyelid going up to the brow. So just checking if my face was sticky or not. This is an eyeshadow stick. It comes in white, champagne and black. I'm putting white on the inner corners, top and bottom, because it's meant to give an awakening, like you're awake, kind of a look. Um, so I did like smudge it out, or whatever you call it, blend it out, because it was too much just to leave it like that. This is a champagne colour. I swept it on over the whole lid and I brought it up a little bit over the crease as well. So it's by Victoria Jackson. Some of you may have heard of the company. Yeah, I'm just like smoothing it, blending it out. This is just um, any kind of coal eyeliner black pencil, I'm trying to create a little flick going upwards and um, just lining the waterline and over the bottom line as well, the bottom eyelid. Trying to match this, you know, symmetry is it? Yeah, trying to match the other side, the flick. And made a couple of mistakes, so I just got a tissue into that. I also added some of my neutral golden shimmer that I almost always put there, I just showed you it. That was really quick. Um, yeah, after doing that, I'm going to put some blush on. I don't know why I did it now, because I'm actually going to put concealer after. So maybe I should have put the blush after, but hey, I'm still learning, so... <laughs> That's me making, like, sucking my cheeks in, doing that kind of fake smile, like that. <laughs> Lips were dry. Put some lip balm on. This is my gel eyeliner pot with brush. Um, it's by Rimmel. It's in black. It's quite difficult to get a really thin line and I think my eyesight must be really poor, especially from one eye, which I know it is. So I could not be in shot for the whole thing. I literally had to go right next to the mirror. But while I was trying to line it, I moved my head to help move it in a straight line, like move the brush. You'll see me kind of moving a little bit. Um, the problem was this gel eyeliner, because I don't know how to apply it properly, it went all in my lashes, which meant my lashes went all bulky, so there's me trying to wipe it and, oh, I was getting frustrated, like, oh no, am I going to have to start all over again, which is a no-no in Rachel Land. I never start again. I just add to it and hope for the best. So stick around to see if like it worked or not. Doing the um, inner upper lid is really difficult because if you go too thick then you've just ruined the whole the whole look. If it's too thick from the top then you just kind of ruined it. So it's like hardcore concentration and weird faces. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do something that makes me happy. I'm going to use some MAC concealer, the Pro Longwear. I need something to last long. I put it on my hand and then dipped my Beauty Blender onto it. I don't know why I put the other side because now I have to wait until I finish blending this one eye. So I did a few dots and then I'm just sort of patting it into a um, triangle going downwards. I'm trying to make sure I get the... Um, the bags under my eyes and I've got freckles in that area as well and just trying to make sure it blends um, nicely so there's no lines 
and then I realized oh I've already done that side so let me just smooth it out this concealer really gives a nice look it's matte it's um, great coverage uh, I really like it <laughs> but I only do that when I want a really flawless look but obviously I'm not going to use this every day or even every week I want to use it for when I want to take photos or look good in photos because then I don't need to photoshop my photos <laughs> which I don't do <laughs> so yeah I'm just doing it in my forehead I did the bridge of my nose uh, my chin above my lip it kind of sometimes feels like wet there's no you're not showing your bare skin anymore you've covered it with <laughs> highlighting and contouring and blush like where is your real skin at the end of the day which is a bit sad I'm gonna try and put this scandalized mascara over the thickened lashes which were kind of clumped by the gel eyeliner so I wasn't expecting much but I just tried 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 both eye lashes um, I don't do my bottom eye lashes unless I'm extra bored and I just thought why not but um yeah this was it really we're literally coming to the end of my look what you'll need to do though to see the complete finished look is to go on to the other link of my hair which completes the whole makeup and hair look or hair and makeup look so um, please do look at the link down below for the completed look because I still had my hair clipped up and I didn't take it down but I'm just showing you the um, coverage um, under the eyes and above the cheeks and I'm quite happy with it so yeah I'm pointing to my clumpy lashes you can't really tell and that was before it was so funny it came out blurry and I just made faces but yeah that was before and um, that's it after thanks for watching and make sure you click the other link if you haven't seen it before because you'll understand what I meant by you need to look at the finished product <laughs> okay well take care have a good day bye